Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the final match of the K League Finals. Whoever wins this wins everything. Upper right hand corner, we got Nomad. Starting as the red Protoss, bottom left hand corner, we have Range. Starting as the blue Protoss, this is going to be on Radeon. Cool map, natural, which I wish I had captured the, that's not the natural expansion. I wish I had captured the who had worked on it alongside, but you got the natural expansion, fairly wide. What does that remind me of? The map from like a few seasons ago, multiple seasons ago, that was blue that I can't remember the name of right this second, which is unfortunate. But yeah, wide natural expansion. As you can see, you've got the third nearby, fairly protected, uh, but a wide open space. Kind of, uh, well, actually a funnel leading into a wide open space in the middle of the map where you got a couple doodads where the fights can be a little bit more troublesome. Uh, the vertical ramps, because they like showing these off now, at the 612 location and then a couple bases otherwise so it's not uh what's it called isometrically it doesn't rotate on the isometric where it's even all the way across because of these bases here um but otherwise you got the four spawns with three bases a piece and then these bases that would be potential fighting points <clears throat> and actually are pretty wide up there so if you can if you can get some dragoon spread they're a little bit more holdable but they got kind of the weird vertical ramps at the same time all that being said, we'll see if Nomad opens up with 10-12 gate. No, never mind. He's going to go ahead and drop that assimilator. Assimilator dropped opposite end from ranged. It has been an absolute slugfest both directions. We've seen everything. We've seen Dark Templar. We've seen High Templar. We've seen Dark Templar drops. We've seen Reaver pressure with Reaver drops. Both players moving scouts out. Let's see if it's going to be a double. This will actually be kind of cute if it's double mid scout and they see each other because they'll know each other. Or There's been a lot of cross position, actually. Oh, are they going to see it? I don't, they just barely miss each other. So checking the middle of the map for double gate and now making their way bottom right and top left respectively. Those, those, those two probes will never know that they almost had a kismet moment. They almost had a moment together. Such is Starcraft. Zealot defensively being built on both ends with the cybernetic score behind. I believe with the scouting pattern that Zealot should have an opportunity on the ramp to go ahead and blockade things. It'll take a bit of micro both directions. Both players haven't done the best at blockading that probe scout as it's made its way around. Second pylon down, so nothing, no crazy proxy pylons out on the map. First sell it in the position for ranged. First sell it in position for nomad. We'll see who does a better job, uh, particularly as these workers are coming across at close to the same moment. So range able to sneak in. Is he able to get the block opposite end? Stepping into it, get some damage done, but that worker able to sneak in as well. A little bit more damage done from ranged than Nomad. And it's ooh, glitching out a little bit there. But both players able to get a good amount of information. Worker going to go ahead and hide. The Dragoon outs. So the Zelt going to try to re-grab lo both locations. Looks like range is going to be able to escape with his worker. where it, And so a little bit of an advantage where not the case in the opposite end. Try to see the divergence. Third pylon down as well. It could be that third pylon was spotted. So he's like, let's just make the way out. And range throwing, casting the die here. Citadel of a Dune dropping. So he wants to, he's betting it on Dark Templar play potentially here. Unless this is going to be some sort of clever four gate plus ones out leg speed. You usually see the gates to start in that scenario and not the Citadel of a Dune to start. Just want to say that's a possibility, just not, not a likelihood. <clears throat> Dragoon's worker hanging their way out. Dragoon mid position. Nomad fanning out a little bit. And Nomad going one gate into expansion. Let's see if he, he's done a pretty good job, honestly, of having the detection in play prior to this. So Citadel of a Dune, there's a Templar Archives. It's not always an all in build. Sometimes Jayun actually did this for quite a period of time where he went the Dark Templar more or less to have a defended mid-game. Range testing the front. Looks like there's enough there that he's dissuaded, trying to tempt it out. Maybe get chased so he could maneuver the worker in. Going to hold otherwise. I wonder if he's going to try to sacrifice it all the way in. Or is he going to just go ahead? Because this worker's still out here. He could drop a pylon and a robotic still on delay. Recognizing that these troops are not in position to provide the scouting information. He might be doing just that. So we'll see. So first Dark Templar getting built. 
Forge getting built as well. The Dragoons pulling away. I'm curious about this. Nexus just about up on both ends. A little bit later, Photon Cannon defensively. No detection, by the way, on Nomad's side. He has yet to build an Observatory or a Forge or play the, uh, play the Cautious. And two cannons for range just in case. The Dark Templar is away. Almost feels like talking about a torpedo. It's just going to be one Dark Templar, though. But one Dark Templar can ruin any player's day. Ask Artosis. Probe's being canceled a little bit there to, to siphon some money. The other trick of this is if the Dark Templar made it way, its way forward and was rejected by a cannon line, what ranged could have done is gone for the proxy robo as far as a, a sneak. Two Dragoons wiped out the... Worker, ranged happy about that, gonna exchange the Dark Templar now to the forward field. It's all or nothing for this DT, and this might be the game-winning DT here. Because I see no detection opposite, sen no opposite end. Nomad does not see it, so he's not gonna get the ramp blockade either. There is just now dropping that Robo, but it is not going to make a difference. That Robo, I, that Dark Templar actually might be able to focus the Robo down. He's certainly gonna get a lot of workers here. And there's a GG, straight GG from Nomad. Ranged takes it, K-League champion. He's gonna get the tickets. Fun series back and forth. It's sad that it ends on a latent DT sneaking his way through. In the meantime, be sure to support NAPL, K-League. Check out the CPL community as well. Hope you guys enjoyed everything. Thank you for listening.